Good morning and welcome to Messiah Episcopal Church in St. Paul, Minnesota. My name is the Reverend Dave Langell and I am the rector elect here at Messiah. And I welcome you to morning prayer, our first of this Epiphany Tide, Epiphany season. If it's your very first time with us, I invite you to do two things today. Click on the links below the screen that will take you to our order of service for the daily office as well as to our scripture readings. And if you are subscribed to our uh, channel here at Messiah, you may also avail yourself of the chat feature. We'd love to know who is part of our morning prayer community and also your location. As you can see behind me here, the wise men, the Magi, have made their way uh, to reverence the Christ child, as we will do this Epiphany uh, Tide. We'll say the Collect for Epiphany, as well as the Collect for this Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And our propers or lessons also are those for the feast day of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Following morning prayer today, I'll make a short announcement about the future of our morning prayer together. But first, let us pause to center ourselves upon Almighty God. From the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, and in every place incense shall be offered unto my name and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts. Dearly beloved, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not assemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice under the throne of the heavenly grace, saying upon our knees. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults, Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises, declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that sinners may turn from their wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and to pronounce to his people being penitent the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all those who truly repent and unfittedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord hath manifested forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and shew ourselves glad in him with song. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is the Lord our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth and with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord hath manifested his glory. O come, let us adore him. Psalm 77, beginning with the 11th verse. I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind thy wonders of old time. I will think also of thy works and meditate upon thy doings. Thy way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? Thou art the God that dost wonders and didst declare thy power among the peoples. Thou didst mightily deliver thy people, even the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw thee, O God, the waters saw thee and were afraid. The depths also were troubled, the clouds poured out water, the skies thundered, and thine arrows went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in the whirlwind, Thy lightnings lit up the whole world. The earth was moved and shook with all. Thy way is in the sea, and thy paths in the great waters. And yet thy footsteps were not known. Thou ledest thy people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in Exodus, the third chapter beginning with the seventh verse. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows and I'm come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large land unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt, and Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, 
ye shall serve God upon this mountain. Here endeth the first lesson. The Te Deum Laudamus. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee, all angels, cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim, continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the Father of an infinite majesty, thine adorable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. Amen. The second lesson is written in the Gospel according to St. Luke, the sixth chapter, beginning with the 27th verse. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other, and him that taketh away thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do you also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if you lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Here endeth the second lesson. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us profess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray upon our knees. O Lord, shew thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O God, may clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, by the hand of Moses, thy servant, you ledest thy people out of slavery. Grant that your church, following the example of your prophet Martin Luther King and all other prophets of thy justice, may resist oppression in thy name and secure for all thy children the blessed liberty of the gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord, who livest and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who by the leading of a star didst manifest thy only begotten Son to the Gentiles, mercifully grant that we, who know thee now by faith, may after this life have the fruition of thy glorious Godhead through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy governance, may be righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for all sorts and conditions. O God, the creator and preserver of all thy people, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of them, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate especially those for whom our prayers are desired at this time. That it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ, his sake. Amen. A general thanksgiving said by all. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all thy people. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. 
Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and us promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, that will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. And just a brief word about the future of our morning prayer, as said from Messiah. Epiphany this year will be the, the last season where we will say weekly morning prayer together. Instead, I will be exploring a seasonal even song and our prayer is that we get through this next COVID wave, that it could be a hybrid event here in the church during uh, chief liturgical seasons in the church year. Well, more about that in the weeks to come. But I am looking forward to, again, praying morning prayer with you next week and all the Monday mornings of Epiphany Tide. Here endeth the order for morning prayer. <laughs> 